welcome back to my bathroom. Today I wanted to do a haul. I had so many requests from my shopping trip to, to show what I had bought. Now, some people think that haul videos are bragging. I don't. I, I like to see what people buy and get their opinion of it before I go out and buy it because it, it kind of trips my trigger if I want it or mm, that doesn't look like me. So let's just get started. The first place I went to was MAC. And I went there on a mission because I had seen the Dazzle lipsticks and I saw it in Sweet Bits and I just, I thought, I saw it online and I thought I have to have it. It's exactly what I want. I'd had so many of you, my smart subscribers, tell me that I can wear uh, darker lipsticks and I have been wearing it a lot more and getting mad compliments. It's crazy. But I wanted to get a, a lipstick and a dazzle to kind of go over it, to kind of tone it down. I'd seen the sweet bits online, thought it was going to be perfect, and when I saw it in per person, I hated it. So instead I got this. It's called Win Win. It's um, a dazzle. I don't know if you can see all the glitter in it. I have used it every day since I bought it. And what I like to do is use it to tone down the dark just a little bit, and I'll show you. See how that just kind of gives it a little bit of a gloss and tones it down, makes it a little more wearable for me. Maybe it's all in my head that I feel like I can wear the darker lipsticks if I put a little pink on it. Okay, I, I have OCD maybe, I don't know. Um, the next thing I got was um, I deposited a lot of my eyeshadows. I love the little four quads. I love these little four quads. They're so handy. I can throw one in. Uh, with, with my favorite colors in my travel bag, have one, in, have them here at home. So wonderful. So I had deposited some of these. This one is Gesso, which I got another one of these. Uh, Love Lace, Corey, and Scene. I love this color combination. So I got two of these um, just because they're so handy. I mean, so easy just to pull out. The, I have the larger quads or the larger palettes, but I love the little quads. The next thing I got was um, Peaches. Uh, blush because I'm a blushaholic if there is such a thing but I'm one and I hit pan when I hit pan I know it's time go get a backup because I love my um, blush uh, another gesso just because gotta have that backup An another thing that I had gotten was I have had so many people say oh your camera why do you have such a, a bad camera it's your face is too blurry well I have a high definition camera and I I don't think it's my camera. I think I put a lot of it on this product. And I went, I use it constantly, so I went and got another one, and that is the Prep and Prime Transparent uh, Translucent Powder, Finishing Powder. And I, ha I have one, and I love this stuff. I want to show you what I think that it does. Um, I just take my little, this is a little Hello Kitty brush. I just take some on my brush, and I'll just, I'll show you what I mean by this. It kind of gives you that, uh, non-high definition look if you want to if, if you want to say so I just put some on my brush and see when I apply it see how it kind of just gives you that airbrush it kind of takes away any flaws I use this stuff after I put my makeup on I put it everywhere on my under my eyes um, just everywhere and it kind of gives you that airbrushed um, translucent kind of glowy thing I, I love this stuff I don't blame my camera I blame this but hey I would like to go around looking kind of blurry and kind of, uh, I, they say, oh, you do that to cover up your wrinkles. No, no, those wrinkles are there. They're there, trust me. Uh, this just kind of makes them look a little blurry, which is, blurry is beautiful, in my world anyway. So that's the Prep and Prime uh, finishing powder. I love this stuff. I absolutely love it. I don't put my makeup on without it. And like, uh, during the day, if I, uh, just to freshen myself, I just put a little wisp of that on, and it really does help. I, then I got the Skin Refine Zone Treatment. I love this stuff. MAC had stopped making it for a while. Oogle Makeup, uh, Gail, who I love, she's so adorable, sent me one, because I, I was like in desperation mode. I couldn't find it, so she sent me one. All she wanted me to send her in return as a swap was some Mrs. Dash, which I thought was hilarious. So I sent her some Mrs. Dash. She couldn't get it where she's at. Um, I love this stuff. It kind of mats down your pores, makes them look smaller. I, I just love this stuff. I'd love to use this stuff all over me. I love it so much. So I had it running out, got it back up, just because that's what I do. Then I love this stuff as well. I was using um, eye makeup remover in the YSL, which I like it pretty good. You have to shake it up because it's... Um, 
the product. I, I like it pretty good. It's it's okay. It'll do in a pinch. I'll, I'll still use it. But I love this and I had run out. This is the MAC Pro Makeup Remover. I love this stuff. This, I just put, um, put some on a cosmetic pad, hold it to my eye for like three seconds, boom, it's gone. This I kind of had to pull and tug. So I, this is my favorite eye makeup remover. I love that stuff. Let's see. I believe that's all I got at MAC. So then I went to the um, Estee Lauder counter. And I, I don't, I'm sure most of you do. I love her, Tanya on Pixie Two Woo. She had done a um, video on, and used the. She uses it a lot. So does Samantha on Pixie Woo. But the day, the Estee Lauder Daywear Plus um, Tinted Moisturizer. So I had to run out and get it. I thought that's perfect for me. I don't wear a lot of foundation, so I thought this would be perfect for me. I hated it. I put it on. And I, I thought the whole, maybe I, I probably did it wrong, I don't know. But I, it felt so wet to me. I put it on and literally I felt like 20 minutes later my makeup went, and it was, I, I swear to you, it's off on the highway. My face is, is out, it's like roadkill on the side of the highway. It was so wet that it just kind of slid off my face. I, at least that's what I felt like. So I'm going to have a... I've never had a blog sale. I'm going to have a blog sale just because I have so much. I used to send my, um, you know, really good condition makeup to my mother. And since she's no longer here, I have taken a lot of it to the, shel the women's shelter here. And they finally said, look, we don't need any more makeup. These women have enough makeup. So I think I'm going to have a blog sale. It's slightly used to barely used to not used. And uh, I like, I, I think anybody else could probably use this. I have kind of just normal skin. It just did not work for me. Another thing I got at Estee Lauder was uh, the Estee Lauder Soft Clean Toner. I love this stuff. At night, I hate, I will not go to bed with a dirty face. I wash my face, I scrub my face, then I use this, put it on a cosmetic pad, and just go all over all my uh, face and neck decolletage. And you'd be surprised how much more. When I think my face is clean, I use this and I get more off. And I keep doing that until that pad comes off completely clean. Okay? I am OCD. I'm, I get a little crazy about it. The next thing I got was I love my retractable pencils. I've shown you this before, Estee Lauder. You take this little thing out. These are the little refills. They're $12. Uh, this one is my lip one. And it's got a little lip... I've lost the caps. I don't even use the caps on them anymore. Uh, this It's got a little lip brush on the end. This is my uh, eyebrow one. Same concept. You take this off and on the end of this it's got a brow brush which I use. I love this thing. So I got um, a refill in of the uh, Cafe Rose uh, lip liner and then I thought I'd go a little... I thought I'd branch out. And I got one in soft pink. So these are my refills for my lip liner. I, I love my pencils. I've, they, these have been with, I first bought my lip liner pencil. Loved it so much I ran out and bought the eyebrow one. And I also have an eyeliner one, but don't really use that one as much. But they've been with me a long time. Then the next thing I got at Estee Lauder was this. I, the, the sales girl was so very kind and helpful and she said, oh, I have the perfect color for you. This is in day wear, like all day lipstick. It's called Rich and Rosy. Mm -mm. It, on me, it's hideous. It's not rich. It's not rosy. It looks horrible. I you, I just used it once going in my blog sale. Didn't like it at all on me. Um, I don't know. I think because of you, I think that I need to stick with like wine colors, darker lipstick for winter. I think that looks better than the bright red. Then the next thing I did was I have a girlfriend that said, oh, you've got to get the, the what's Victoria's Secret? You've got to get the Victoria's Secret concealer palette. So I ran to Victoria's Secret, it was right by Sephora at that mall, and I bought it, and it was $14, and all I have to say about this is you get what you pay for. I put a big glob in it because I got all excited about it and um, poked a big hole in it here. This one, I, I just didn't care for it. This one is too creamy. This one's too dry. This one's too, I don't know, it's like clay. I, there was absolutely nothing about that that I cared for. Um, that might go in my blog sale for, for, for pretty cheap. Then I went to Sephora. Oh, God, I could move into Sephora. I swear I love that place. First thing I bought was um, OPI, Sephora by OPI in, this is called Techno Girl. It's kind of a, it's a lot like the Bianca 
that I wear all the time. Uh, just kind of a, a real, I wouldn't call it a bright pink, just kind of a neutral pink. It's a fun color. I, I love that color, so I got that. Then, while I was there, I had, um, I mentioned it in that video, Wayne Goss had said if you've got blue eyes that wearing a um, glitter liner will really accentuate your blue eyes. And um, I get a lot of compliments on my eyes. I think if you've got a feature that people compliment, you need to work, play it up, play it up. So I thought, I'm going to, Wayne Goss tells me to do something, I'm going to go do it. And he mentioned my name in that video. So I walked into Sephora and it, if there were, if there were five or maybe ten, Ten glitter liners, no problem. I'd go in and pick one up, walk out the door. There are actually 337, maybe 338 different colors, kinds of glitter liner. I could not decide. I walked over here, I went over there, I looked at Forever Make. For, for, I just went everywhere trying to find the perfect glitter liner. I've never worn glitter liner, didn't know what the heck I was doing. So I ended up getting this one, and it is in Opal by Sephora. And I don't know if you can see all the glitters in there. It is absolutely gorgeous. I haven't got a clue, not one clue, how to wear this or what to do with it. But like I said, if Wayne Goss tells me I should wear it, I'm going to, I'll figure it out. If you have any suggestions on how to wear it, do I wear it as an eyeliner, like over my black eyeliner? Do I wear it underneath? Do I wear it as a eyeshadow what the heck I'm 50 I turned 55 okay how do I not know how to use this I, I don't understand but I could use any help you help me with my lipstick help me with my glitter liner and Wayne if you're watching this tell me what to do okay then the next thing I got was just because I love this stuff it's the Urban Decay 24-7 uh, eye pencil in zero. I use this thing like you would not believe. I use it constantly. I love my, it's, I've used it for eyeliner. I've used it to line my eyes, the waterline, the tight line as an eyeliner. I've even used it as a base when I've been in a pinch and didn't bring, forgot to bring an eyeshadow. I love this. It's a very soft pencil. It, you kind of go through it pretty quickly. Let me show you what mine end up looking like. I'm going to make up the words right here. It is so sad. This is what they get to be. I mean, that is the, that is like a mini, mini, mini me pencil. You can't even use it. It's so pathetic. But that that's what they get to be. And you do go through them pretty quick. So I bought a backup. I've got another one, but I bought a backup for my backup just because I do love this liner. I absolutely love it. Then uh, while I was there, I am an, a Sephora Beauty Insider. If, if you it's free, you sign up. They, they You accumulate points. And on your birthday, they will, send, they will give you a coupon to get a little gift. So, of course, I, they said, do you want to use your gifts? And I said, well, why not? So, um, this is what I got from my Sephora Beauty Insider birthday gift. It's a, a shimmery eyeshadow, a gorgeous uh, eye pencil in Nano. It's like a green turquoise-ish turquoise, turquoise green pencil and a mascara. So, um... That was my Beauty Insider birthday gift from Sephora, which I, I really, I love the, the green pencil. Then I also, I cashed in my points. I think I had, I don't know how many points I had, but I cashed in my points and I got this, it's um, a roll-on perfume just to throw in my bag. Uh, it's under, it's, it's tiny, so you can take it on board a plane in clean. And it's, it's got a, like I said, it's a little roll-on. It's so cute. And it does. It does. It smells very clean as opposed to smelling very dirty. I wouldn't want to wear a perfume that makes me smell dirty. So that's that was my makeup haul. I oh I forgot the last thing. I did not get these at the mall, but every time I wear them, oh my gosh, can you see these earrings? These I ordered from uh, Pixie Two Woo, Tanya Burr. I love them. There, I love big earrings anyway. These, I got these in gold. They come in gold and silver. I was worried that the gold might be too uh, harsh. Of a, they're very subtle gold, and they're big, and I, I don't know. I just absolutely love them. Every time I wear them, I get compliments out the wazoo on them. I love them. They go with, uh, there are certain things I can't wear them with, but I, I wear them, and I love them. You might check her site. I don't have, I'll try to get the link up. Um, I love her jewelry anyway, but these are just so fun, and I mean, I've worn them with purple, I don't really care, I just think they're fun, they're, um, 
I don't know, I really like them. So anyway, that was my haul. My next video is going to be the clothing haul. I did not buy anything Chanel, nothing Christian Louboutin, nothing um, crazy Prada, Louis Vuitton, nothing crazy expensive. Christmas is coming up. I've got three grandkids and a, I've got my husband. I've got two boys. I've got friends. I've got a lot. My Christmas list just gets longer and longer and longer. Um, so I didn't really buy much at all, but I'll show you what I bought because it's a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching. I love you all. Bye.